All right, welcome back to the channel, guys. In this video, we're going to be picking up where we left off in our previous video with this alpha external Wi-Fi adapter. And in the last video, um, let me think here real quick. So in the last video, we used uh, Airmon NG to uh, enable monitor mode on the um, adapter, and then we used AeroDump NG to then uh, scan the um, scan the networks around us, or scan the air, whatever, however you wish to say that. And um, one thing that I did not talk about that is 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 probably where I should basically pick up in this video is. Um, is stopping it and then putting it back into, taking it out of monitor mode, putting it back into manage mode, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and repeat um, what I did very quickly in the, in the last video. And if I run IW config, we see that the name of our network adapter is recognized as WLAN zero. You can also run IF config and get the same name. Um, running IW, config lets us know that it is currently in managed mode, okay? And that's, you know, the way that it should be. Uh, that's the way that your typical network or your typical um, external Wi-Fi adapter uh, will be is in managed mode. Now, um, we're going to put it back into to monitor mode. And in the last video, I ran sudo airmon ng by itself and that basically lets you know that you know airmon ng is able to recognize this this adapter and and, and potentially um, interact with it so you're typically going to run sudo airmon ng uh, check right and that is going to let you know that it found two processes that could cause trouble and it's suggesting to kill them before putting the card in monitor mode because they'll interfere by changing channels and sometimes putting the interface back into manage mode. So if you're gonna put this into monitor mode, it's saying you probably wanna kill the network manager and the WPA supplicant, right? So we would do sudo uh, airmon ng check kill, and that's gonna kill those. And then we'll go back and we'll run sudo airmon ng check again, just to check and make sure that they're, they're not still being recognized and we're not seeing them so we know that we're good. Now, clear the screen and then we did sudo arrow dump ng followed by the name of um, the, the uh, network adapter, which in my case is WLAN zero. Now before I run that though, I'm just gonna show you, I'm gonna run IW config and you can see that the name is, is still WLAN zero, okay? Uh, in fact, I apologize, I'm, I'm skipping a step here. I'm skipping a step, okay? So we did Airmon NG to, in uh, check to check for anything that interfere, and then we killed those processes. I'm skipping a step, okay? I'm getting ahead of myself because we still need to put it into monitor mode. So I'm gonna do sudo uh, Airmon NG start followed by the name of the network um, adapter which is WLAN zero and that's going to go ahead and put it into monitor mode and you can see right here it says monitor mode enabled now if i run iw config I, iw config you see that it is in monitor mode okay and important to note is in my example here the name is still WLAN zero. Sometimes when you do this, it will change the name, and if it was WLAN zero, like it says on my screen, typically it would make it WLAN zero mon. But for whatever reason, for me, it, it keeps the same name, right? Now, if I go back and I run sudo airmon ng just by itself, um, we're still getting that, that same information. If I run IW, config, we get that, IF config, we get that, right? So now, after that, what do we do? Well, we're probably gonna do a scan, right? So we're gonna do 
arrow dump ng and provide it with the name of the adapter, which in my case is WLAN0. Once again, it did not change the name. So we did some extra um, options like manufacturer, band, et cetera. I'm not going to do any of that in, in this video. So we're simply going to just uh, start performing a, um, a scan around us. And I'm not going to let this run very long because um, we already did this in the last episode. So I'm going to go ahead and control C that. So that's basically where we left off in the last video. Now, um, okay, so you did a scan, you know, you did 10 scans, 100 scans, whatever. Now you're done. Uh, the normal um, uh, procedure to this would be, well, we're going to now you know, kind of go backwards and we are going to um, take it out of monitor mode and put it back into uh, managed mode. So in order to do that, I'm simply going to do sudo airmon ng stop and then the name of the interface. Right? And that is going to disable monitor mode. Now when I do IW config, you will see that it is back in managed mode, okay? Um, now another thing that you might be interested in doing is gonna be um, changing the MAC address, right? That's, that's something that a lot of people are trying to do. So uh, you have the tool that's called MAC Changer, which is always installed on Kali Linux distribution by default. Uh, if I run which MAC Changer, we'll see where it's located and see if we get anything from running what is MAC Changer, and that is with two Cs. And we get some very basic synopsis so that I can do apt info Mac changer, just different commands I might use to get information on a particular tool, you know, and there's always the man pages, right? We can see if there's an entry in the man pages, and there is. And then, of course, we can also do um, Mac changer with dash dash help, right? And it gives us a very brief uh, explanation of, of how to use this and, and the options. So you do have to use pseudo privileges for this. So what I might do first is um, uh, I want to check what the, what the current MAC address is for this adapter. And I'll run sudo uh, MAC changer with the dash, um, uh, what is the dash S, the dash S option on there, and then provide it with the name of the interface, WLAN0. And what that's going to do is tell me two different things. It's going to tell me what the real or permanent MAC address is, and then it's going to tell me what the current MAC address is. And you can see in this example here, they are both the same. And that's because I did not change the MAC address. Um, there's no reason to. I'm, I have no purpose to, in, in doing that. But if I did want to change the MAC address, then what I'm going to do is, first off, I'm going to um, I'm going to bring the interface down, okay? So I'm going to basically uh, take, take it offline and, and make sure it's not in monitor mode, right? But I'm going to even go further, and it's not even going to be in, in managed mode neither. So right now, if we run iwconfig, you see it is listed here as, our, um, as one of our options for our, our, our adapters, right? And once there's, there's multiple ways to do this. We'll, you'll see in future videos that there's another way to do this, just like with all the previous commands that I ran. But um, one of the ways to go about this is simply to do uh, sudo ifconfig, followed by the name of my adapter, which is WLAN0, and then down. And that's going to bring it down. Now notice when I do iwconfig, again, um, in our case, it is, it's still showing the, the same information. But uh, nonetheless, you're going to bring you're going to bring it down. Um, if we were connected to the internet or something, that's going to take it take it off offline and, and so forth. Now, after bringing the network interface down, then I would run sudo mac changer. I'll probably do dash s again just for simplicity to to tell myself you know what it was before I made the change. And then now that I've brought it down. I am going to run MacChanger with the dash R, and that's going to just 
give it a random MAC address. So I would run that command and you see now we have another listing and it's telling us what our real MAC address is, what the current one was, and now the new MAC address that it has assigned to it, right? So now if I run um, sudo mac changer s to, to show us the MAC address, we see that um, the new current MAC address is this random MAC address, right? And there's different ways of, of doing this as well with this command. This is probably the easiest and the most simplified way if you, for whatever reason, want to randomize your MAC address, which is a good thing to do for security purposes. But you could also do, if I do sudo MAC changer, um, let me just run the, the help again. And you can see there's this other option down here that says uh, um, list, okay? Now, I can actually list out a very long list of different um, MAC addresses that are associated with different devices, anything from iPhones to certain routers, right? So if I do, I don't have to do sudo for, for this, but sudo Mac changer with the dash L, and you see we get this very long list, okay? And we're, we're looking at a lot of different things. So for example, we could pick one here, and okay, we see something that says Nintendo, right? So this is uh, number 6862. This is probably a, a number to identify which, um, which one in this listing we're referencing. But these first three uh, um, uh, numbers right here separated by colons or semicolons, or, that is going to be um, uh, the first, I believe that's going to be the first three of that a MAC address. So, in other words, let's just do this. You know, to be honest with you, I can't remember if it's the first half or the last half, but we'll figure it out from here real quick. So I'll just go ahead and copy, um, copy that right there, or try to copy it. And all right, I'm going to copy that, right? And it was six eight six two. Now, if I Clear the screen, run Mac Changer again with the dash H for help. And if you see down here, it's saying that we can set the Mac address, right? Now, um, I, I cannot remember if it's the first three or the last three that we're using from that, uh, from that list. So I'm going to run that again, but I'm going to pipe the output into less. Okay, if we go up here to the top, we have this number section, and then we have the Mac, and then the vendor. All right, so let's see what we can do here. We'll see what happens. If I run sudo Mac changer, and I'm going to do dash M, and I'm going to paste the uh, I'm going to paste that section for the for the Nintendo, and then I'm going to just make something up for the last three. So I'll do three, four, uh, five, six, seven, eight. Hit enter, and. I forgot to provide it with the name of the device, which is WLAN0. OK, so what we see has happened here is we have now changed our MAC address again. But this time, um, instead of to a random one, we have assigned it a MAC address that, that says to the world that it's a, it's a Nintendo now. OK, so um, now if I run sudo MAC changer, dash s wlan zero, we see that our Wi-Fi adapter to anybody that is uh, seeing it, um, if we're on a network, et cetera, um, it's going to say that it's a Nintendo, right? Pretty interesting, pretty cool stuff. That's going to be it, guys. Thank you for watching. Uh, subscribe, like, comment, send some positivity my way. Until next time, the one and only Douglas Habian. I will see you soon.